Hi, I'm Jay, and we are checking out the Disk Assure DT2 from iStorage. This is an external drive in, and enclosure. It's a very secure way of storing your information, and I happen to have the 8 terabyte flavor. Let's see what we got in here. iStorage security seal. That is substantial. I I don't know how much this weighs, is, but I it's it's pretty impressive. It's got ten digits, the uh, an, a lock and an unlock button, and a shift button. And um, I'm gonna look at this sheet. You know, it's really quick. The disk is your DT2 wear resistant epoxy coated keypad hides key usage to avoid tipping off a potential hacker to commonly use keys. These are two strips of kind of a heavy rubber and it's all aluminum, but anyway, so what else have we got going on in here? I'm kind of pumped about this. There's the instruction book and uh, yeah, we'll get into that later. I, let's, let's wait till I know what I'm talking about before I try to explain how it works. And here is the USB cable, yeah, that's USB 3 Type B. Here's the actual power. 12 volt, 2 amps. Takes anywhere from 100 to 240 volts. I'll pick the one that I will be using. Since we're here in the States, we're 110 volts, 115 volts. So that's what we got. We got the unit itself. And this thing is heavy. And four different international adapters. A generously length. That's what we got. I look forward to checking this thing out. And I thought I'd weigh it really quick. Since I made such a big deal of how substantial it seemed to be. And it's about 1.1 kilograms or just shy of two and a half pounds. So yeah, it's, there's something to it. So I got a laptop set up and I have the Disk Assure DT2. And then there's three indicator lights. Over here is um, on hold or it's locked, unlocked and readable. And then that little blue LED will come on when it's in admin mode. So I'm just going to power it on first. Plug it in here and nothing's going to happen. It's not until you unlock it that the operating system will even see it. Um, it comes preloaded with an admin code, and it, it's just 11223344. Okay, 11223344. One, two, two, three, three, four, four. Unlock. There we go. And there you can see it. Right there, Media Disk Assure DT2. Or let's lock it. So we've got it on, on standby. If you want to go into admin mode, what you do is hold down unlock plus one. Those are going. And then one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Okay, so we're in admin mode, and there's all kinds of things you can do here. Um, one thing, uh, let's add a user pin. So that's a pin code that you can put in but not access all of these functions. And what you do is, while you're in admin mode, okay, I'm kind of reading my cheat sheet. Hold unlock in three. Okay, and... So it was one one two two. Let's just do something simple like two two three three four four five five unlock. Two two three three four four five five unlock. And that should create a user pin. So let's lock it again. Okay, so when you log in with the uh, admin pin, you just type it straight. When you go in with the user pin, 
you start with unlock first. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, unlock. And there it is. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do from here. If you go back into admin mode, you can set the user to be read-only. You can uh, set up uh, password policies. You can even set a self-destruct pin. So for example, like if I change the admin password, which you can do in admin mode, and then uh, set, you know, the factory default 11223344 to be a self-destruct pin, so I haven't tried this, but reading the uh, documentation, if that's attempted, it will uh, completely blank out the hard drive. You'll have to repartition it. The self-destruct password will be the new user password, except everything else is wiped. So that's kind of interesting. So there's a quick rundown of basic functions although read the manual and it it's uh, pretty extensive what you can control and can configure and here we are I'm gonna show you exactly what I am going to use the disk issue VT2 for I have a small computer business that I've been running out of my house for quite a few years and um, this is actually a computer I built a long time ago it's been having some trouble he wants to upgrade it, it is six seven eight years old he's given me permission to film this whole process he thinks it's kind of fun his wife was trying to get him to get a laptop or just get a regular computer but he insists he wants this case so i am going to let me show you it really is a computer i mean and in fact let me turn it around so the power supply burnt out a couple of years ago <laughs> um so we had to just kind of hack job of full size power supply we're going to back everything up this is a, a windows 7 installed i want to keep my contact with my customers data to a minimum and if i can just narrow it down to one piece of hardware if for if i need to transfer things that's great so that's my plan so i got a flash drive bootable it's got lots of tools Here's the power button uh, f12 to the boot menu crap we're in booting i'm sure it was f12 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 there i expand drive for mx linux Unlock. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Unlock. First thing I'm going to do is go into the system, disk manager. So there's the disk assure mounted. There's the manual that comes preloaded on it. Okay, SDA is his. SDC is the disk assure. DDIF equals. Check and check and check to make sure I got this right. And that should be that. Okay, let's open. Oh. <clears throat> and off it goes. And I'll just uh, leave this and we'll move on to the next backup once this is done. DD has finished and we have the uh, compressed image on i storage i'm going to make one more backup that's a little bit more friendly for the customer to just access their old information and i'll just do that straight from windows okay we'll unlock the disk assure dt2 with that user pin that we created earlier and here we have it gzip image we made i'm going to put my flash drive in and i'm going to use that was kind of an even DD was a bit overkill in this situation, but I'm going to use a tool that has 
just been very tried and true, working for me for a long time. Freeware program called Unstoppable Copier that I have on this flash drive. Yeah, I'm just going to take the whole C drive. And go. And off we go. We'll just let that run. A couple loose ends to wrap up. Um, one of them is when I used uh, Unstoppable Copier. You might have noticed I dumped all of the files right onto the root of the iStorage. And, but luckily, there's only a couple files there. It was easy to just dump them back into that MMW folder that I made for the customer. No big deal. And the other thing, too, is the DD images um, that you can make with Linux or Unix. Um, there is a program by Passmark called OFS Mount. Yeah, I think I got that right. OSF Mount. And you can read those. You can read those files and just mount them as a drive letter, and you're, it's like you're back in your old drive. Um, so I provide those to the customers. So that's a basic rundown of how I use and plan to use. This was a real-world real world test drive, and I'm pretty happy with it. I don't have uh, a lot of information that I'm real secure about or that I'm worried about, but I do deal with other people's information. I'm very, I take that very seriously. Unless there's a real need, I don't want to even look at the customer's data. I just back it up as thoroughly as I can and let them decide if, uh, you know, I got everything that they wanted, if everything's restored, and if that's all good, then I just wipe, uh, you know, whatever temporary storage I have from them. Um, so yeah, it's kind of perfect. Thanks for watching, and if you want to know more about them, you can find them at www.istorage-uk.com Thanks.